now what is up everybody my name is mike brown aka review king mb and i just got done watching reign of the supermen this is a 2019 dc animated film that is technically part two in the superman big story it started last year with the death of superman and now we're getting the conclusion and what I think of Reign of the Superman is it's okay. <laughs> Honestly, it's just okay. I didn't love it and I didn't hate it. I just feel like for a story like this, for the death of Superman, from what I remember how it felt when that comic book came out back in the early 90s. And yes, I was young, but I just remember the impact that it had on the world. Even if you're not a, a fan of that original story, you can't deny the impact and in, in how big it was for the time. So to recapture that, even on film or an animation, that's a daunting task. And I'm not, I wasn't expecting them to get it perfect, but even part one, I thought missed the boat. Uh, combining it with the new 52 timeline and just having all these things that made the story convoluted and confusing this time is no different look i like seeing what we know from this story characters like superboy and cyborg superman and the eradicator and all these characters who are supposed to emerge from the ashes of superman and protect the city. I like that Lex Luthor was using Superboy uh, as his own version of Superman and trying to profit off of that. I like that Cyborg Superman was trying to prove that he really was Superman, but someone like Lois wasn't quite too sure. The Eradicator seemed to be somebody who was out on his own accord and doing his own thing, so it wasn't quite sure if he trusted him. And it was Steel! John Henry Irons, who I thought, okay, this is a character that we probably should have had more in the forefront, that we could have done more with his backstory and his connection to Superman, and why he was just a guy, a dude, that put on a suit, uh, a steel suit, and, and decided to be a hero. I thought there were some good ideas here, but not fleshed out. I think the voice acting is fine, a lot of the same people from part one, like Rebecca Romaine, Jerry O'Connell, Rain Wilson, you have Cameron Monaghan from Gotham. He does the voice of Superboy. And you have Cress Williams, who is Black Lightning. He does the voice of Steel. So I liked that. I think the animation is better than part one. I specifically remember part one being very choppy and 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 you couldn't get a good scope of the population in the city. This one handled that. A lot better it's just the story left me lacking a little bit left me desiring more this is superman this is the resurrection of superman you know what let's let's get into spoilers i have to get into some spoilers when it comes to certain stuff when you see that that thing that portal Thing, fall on the Justice League. Yes, the Justice League is in this. Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash, Hawkman, Martian Man, Tundra, a lot of them. And it looks like they die. <laughs> I would have ranted on this movie. I would have given this a big F you. That would have sucked if they just killed the Justice League just to get rid of them. I know you want to find an excuse, a reason to get rid of the Justice League so that this could be more Superman based. But man, that would have been brutal you found out though that it was just a portal and it transported them to some other place and they had to get their way back superman being resurrected i thought was a little rushed it just was like oh hey so superman's dead how are we dealing with that you get that scene of lois grieving with uh, clark's parents and then her talking to wonder woman and them having a moment so that was all well and good until you just see that superman was at the fortress of solitude just hanging out he has the black suit and he has the long hair, so I did like that. It's almost like with his resurrection, they got it more right than Justice League did. But I still thought that it just was rushed. It just was like, oh yeah, by the way, he's back. There he is. And you could have done more with it. It should have been a, a bigger moment. It should have felt 
more epic. It should have I should have cried during this because I'm a big Superman fan. And I just kind of sat here watching. I don't hate this movie. I don't dislike this film. I think it's fine. I think it's all good to have on in the background or have it watched at home. I would give it a Netflix and chill. Oh yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you two have seen The Reign of Superman. What did you think of it? Did you like it more than I did? Or do you agree that it just wasn't as good as it could have been? Like, comment, subscribe. Later!